Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the full moon that's occurring on March 25th, 2024. And not only is this a full moon, but this is an eclipse, a lunar eclipse. So this is big energy. So we're gonna take some time and go through each life path number and what you might expect uh, working with the energies that will be coming up around this illumination. Because this is an, this is an eclipse and it's much more potent, you could definitely be feeling those energies already. And this usually being an eclipse will start a storyline that will carry over for about the next six months, up to a year even. So whatever starts coming in for you around this time and definitely around the eclipse, uh, pay attention to because there's likely going to be more to the story that unfolds as you move forward on your journey. And these will be the, the, um, the potent themes that you're working with based on the numerology. Okay, so before we get into the forecast, uh, this of course is a general reading. If you would like to know what energies you might be personally dealing with around this eclipse or the year ahead or just your personal numerology, please book some time with me. I would love to work with you and take a look. Uh, you can find my information in the description box below and book some time with me. All right, let's get into it. Beautiful life path 33 sixes. Okay, so you all are going to be working with the energy of the 42 six for this illumination as well as sheep energy. Now, of course, for the um, the numerology, you're going to be working with your own core life path energy of six, but you've also got the influencing energy of the 42, which is significant. So we're going to talk about it. But before we do that, let's talk about sheep energy. There is definitely this innocence and gentleness with this vibration that's coming through and this sense of appreciation and community. So I really do think that over the course of the next six months to a year, you could really find a sense of community with others because you have a lot of relational energy coming through with the numerology. And then you've got sheep energy, which is again, this very nurturing sense of community. So if you're somebody who's been looking for those deeper, heartfelt, very close connections, whether they're romantic, whether they're, you know, um, friendships or whatever the case may be, this is a great time for that over the next, again, six months to a year to really um, come across those deeper soul connections. And of course, that makes sense because this eclipse is happening in the sign of Libra in astrology. So it's all about relationships. Now for you all, um, well, let me back up. With sheep energy, I would also say this is an opportunity to really gain a greater sense of appreciation, not only for you know your own personal journey and your experiences and how you can sort of bring more joy into your life and more um, just appreciation and gratitude for your own personal journey and your opportunity to express yourself in your own unique way, but also an opportunity to bring in a deeper sense of appreciation for the people who are a part of your storyline, who are a part of your community, so to speak. So there really is this energy around this eclipse and for the next six months to a year of really being very present, not only with self, but with others, uh, because that will have the potentially the effect the effect of deepening those connections where they truly do feel seen and heard. This is an energy, the 42 six of really saying you are probably listening, but are you listening with your head or your heart? And this energy is going to encourage you to listen with your heart when it comes to others and yourself, right? So make sure that you're very present with your connections and and you're listening with your heart. Even if what they're saying isn't what you want to hear, you're still showing up with the space and the compassion to hear and be open to their truth and honesty. Now, the 42.6, this has the potential to bring in a very strong focus around commitments, relationships, all kinds of relationships, not just the ones sort of closest to our heart but all connections, how we relate to others. This also has the power because it's got the four in there, 42, to fix foundations. This is a very relationship and foundational energy combined, 
where you are being asked to sort of look at those foundations of your current connections and how can you strengthen those foundations, right? How can you build a better foundation? Not only you doing the work, but you showing up in reciprocity with the other person to build a stronger foundation. So you could find under under this illumination that connections from the past show up to be healed, to be strengthened in some way. You and the other person have likely evolved in some way. And so meeting now, you're meeting at, at different frequencies, right? And so, or similar frequencies, but different from the past. So it could be that that connection would look very different now. And so people who are meant to be a part of your journey, but maybe there was a break, you could see them resurface now in a way that makes sense, in a way where the connection makes sense. Um, and you may be called to sort of heal those connections or, or sort of strengthen those foundations energetically where the other person isn't um, able or willing to sort of work on that connection. But for you, in order to move forward, you need to, right? And so energetically, you may be asked to heal that connection, you know, strengthen that connection, whatever, so that you can move forward, so that you can sort of cut free any of those heavier bricks that are holding you back. Um, Any connection that you make under this illumination or the next six months to a year, has the potential to be very foundational, meaning that these could be some these could be people who are in your life for a very long time um, and are very significant in your life. So definitely pay attention to that. It could also be people who are um, very mature, very wise, sort of um, bring a lot to the table. So some of these connections could be mentorships where you are you know, they sort of like the teacher shows up when the student is ready. And there's going to be people potentially that show up to you where you're the teacher and they're learning from you, from your experience and wisdom. So just again, I would say 100% be very open to the connections that surface around this time um, and those foundations that you're building and make sure that you keep coming back to your heart center. All of these connections should be very heart led. Um, And again, have the potential to be very foundational and building bridges as well. So beautiful, beautiful energy for you all sixes. And this is right up your alley anyway as a 33, but you could really see this very potent over the next six months to a year. Um, Yeah, so yeah, beautiful. (laughs) That's all I got to say about that. I hope it's a great one. Take care. Bye for now.